Let me tell you about an experience that I had. I remember the date. It was around this time, and it was 1991. And I was having one of those days. Not a bad day. Not a good day. Just a regular ho-hum day. Mediocre day. And I can remember as clear as this moment right now, when I decided that I would start to decree in prayer that this is a special day. The kind of day you feel like at Easter or Christmas or a holiday or your birthday. But I decided that I would decree it and I would make it so inside of my mind in anticipation, in expectation. Well, I said it maybe a hundred times, maybe a thousand times. This is a special day. And I tell you that day, by the time I went to bed that night, that was one of the greatest days of my life. It was a real awareness that we have the power, spiritually, to decree what a thing is, what a thing will be, and establish it to ourselves. I'm asking you today to say this is a special day. To celebrate life in this day with the joy of living that you can only on a special day. And to really feel it inside of you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. This is a special day. It is a day where you celebrate everything about your life and all of the blessings coming to you. This is a day to give thanks to God for all your good. And you will be experiencing more good as you decree it during your day. More blessings will be coming to you, large and small, it will increase and it will overflow way beyond today into uh, the balance of the week, next week, and I pray the whole month. This is a day where you start to realize the power of the spoken word in prayer where you are consenting in your free will to create something. And what are you creating? A special day for you to enjoy. This is a day where you'll take a, a light-hearted approach to your life. You will exercise your sense of humor, which is one of the greatest joys and greatest gifts given to us by God. You'll laugh, and you'll laugh deeply. You'll give expression to love today, because today is a special day. Your expectation of joy and happiness and celebration helps to bring about the very feelings and experience, experiences that you desire. And you'll see them multiplied and then multiplied again. You no longer wait for a reason to experience the joy of living. You choose to be happy. You choose to celebrate now. And you experience it. You experience joy and happiness in accepting God's gift to you. The gift, the ultimate gift of time and of today. God bless you.